Hey everybody, how's it going? Hi! We're here at Goodwill. Yes. This is the one that we were at, oh, I don't know, about six months or so ago that the guy said, ah, crap, just go, I can't get it to come up. Go ahead and just take it, it's free. I can get prices to come up. <laughs> He said, I'll leave it here in two weeks anyway, just take it. Yeah, he said, I'm out of here anyway, so go ahead and take it. We're going to go ahead and see if we can find some uh, some good deals and maybe some Christmas stuff that I can add little bubbly lights we'll to or something. We'll show you what we do, what Tim's doing. Yeah, I'm He's doing some, some, Christmas stuff. some crafting. Yeah. So. My goodness, there's no carts out here. Y'all don't like these cow creamers. That's Odagiri. Is he in good condition? Seems to be for a dollar and fifty. Okay, and then look at this little butter dish. He's cool. And he is not Odagiri. Ugh, the way that's taped is only taped on one side. And that one's only a dollar. Fifty, but I think this one does have a chip right here. Uh, maybe that's a maybe. I don't know. That's not that bad of a chip. I like him. That's a pretty fun butter dish right there. Okay. Hopefully, Tim's gonna find us a cart. Cause my hands are full already. Still cool. Oh, he's like. An incense guy or something. Oh, let's see who who makes him. It's 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 a uh, Jonathan Adler, handmade in China. But I think we may want to check that out because I think that Jonathan Adler. I remember that name. So let's let's check that out and see. Look at the kitties, the rock kitties. Those are cute. All right, everybody. This All right. Going to the other end. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh. Okay. Really All right, everybody. This Goodwill is actually pretty right. cool because it doesn't have. Uh, doesn't you're going over there? Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh. Okay, because it doesn't have really loud music. It's really cool. Look at this. This is. That's pretty, but I don't know what if it's a obvious piece or what. It looks nice. Easter stuff, Easter bunny stuff. That's pretty. Okay. You want, to, you want to keep the cart? I will. Sure. You, you yeah. Usually pick more stuff up yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go start over there. Okay. Okay, everybody, here we go. I'm going to a different side of the store than Jerry, so we don't overlap stuff. We'll get done a lot quicker. You know, I'm still going to go over there. <laughs> Let's go back where Tim was. Only because, not because I don't trust him, but because he just picks up different things than I do. He likes different stuff. And so we, we, we do well together because of that. Oh, look how pretty that 
pretty this is. It's new, but it is so pretty. Oh, they want $14.50 for it though. So no, this one's neat. I've never seen it done like that. With a, like a, I don't know. Almost a ceramic. I'll just glance through the dolls here, see what we've got. Oh, look, nice piece of Tanala, maybe. Okay. Oh, I don't think it's signed anywhere. And it's pretty new looking, very glazed. Don't think I want that either. I am being picky. Yes, I am. And this, you know, pretty little shoe. I don't go for those either. I know, I know. All right, let's go see what's down this way. Oh, let's look at these. Oh, these are cool. What does it say? I, I, it's chipped, they're chipped up. Look, chips. So we won't, oh, it's cool, but no. Angels, but they're not singing. I don't need singing angels. Because that's what I'm collecting for Christmas, that and spaghetti Santas. It's another cloth teak, y'all. Pretty sure. Um, what does it say? Made in China. Which I think the cloth teaks are, but it's not marked like my other ones were. Oh. They are vintage, but they're vintage like 80s, 90s vintage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see about that. I, oh, I think he's cloth peak. What do we got here? I wonder if Tim even looked over here. Oh dear, oh dear, he is. Oh, he's heavy. He's, he's heavy. And his little toolbox came undone. It's another one. Good Lord, it's another one of the cloth cakes for $14.50. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know about that's a lot. This box looks it has a vintage. Oh, look, it's a artificial tree stand. Okay. Okay. Okay, now here's something pretty simple that maybe. Tim can use to make this little one of his little light things. I'll get it and ask him about it. So, but he puts a bubble light. When he includes a 50s bubble light. That's that's his Christmas project. So we're gonna we'll ask him about that. Something party light. I don't know what it is. Okay, those are pretty. Little Christmas party light things. Okay, the other music's a little loud. At first it was not, and now it is. Darn it. This little crackle glass. It's nice. Now, what about something like this? If we put a little, um, down here. If we put some kind of little holder, candle holder, and put the bubble light, but then it would have, you wouldn't see the writing. But I'm going to run that past him too, because he might think of something better. Yeah. Made by Sunbeam. Would have had a lid too because I can tell by the. It's got a little groove around the edge of it. Would have had a lid that went on top of it. So put this right here.
squeeze in it. What do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got here? I don't know what that is. It's unusual. Orange tags are 50% off. Isn't that something? I haven't seen an orange tag yet. I think they put those out. They say orange tags are 50% off and then they go around the store and take all the orange tags off everything. <laughs> I'm so bad. Let's ask Tim about this. These were a couple of ideas I had. Like if we put a, a candle flat piece, like a metal flat mm -hmm. piece and put a bubble light on it, but then you wouldn't be able to read it. True. So maybe up here or over here or something like that was my thought. Or maybe. I could just mount a piece all along here and let it stick out this way a little oh, yeah. bit. Just mount it off to the side. Yeah. And wouldn't that be cute? Yeah, that would be with cute. Little, with little bubble lights on it? With oh, a look, bubble light? Sense. Or I could do it and put a bubble put, light on both on sides. On both sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 99 cents. Put it in the bottom. If I'm getting it, it's going in the bottom. These were my these were my think abouts for you. And then there's this one. Is this? Oh, holder? I need to look that one up. Candle holder? Is that what it is? I don't think so. I think it's, um, well, maybe candles, but like birthday candles, huh? But I think more incense? Incense, maybe? Maybe it's a winter dog menorah. <laughs> but that I rem that um, maker, uh, the maker I, is familiar. The name is familiar to me. Jonathan Adler. So I want to look that up. And then look at this one. It's got a mark on the bottom of it. I know. Look at this one. Oh, it's metal. Well, see, it is. And it, but this is battery-operated light, but we can get rid of all that, right? Yeah, that just unscrews. Yeah. That, off. that whole light would probably come out. Mm-hmm. How much is it? It's $250. Mm, it's not horrible. But you wouldn't put a light. You wouldn't I get a bubble light in there? Tall enough. Well, it would stick up into there. Oh, it might, not be, it might be too tall. I mean, oh, I hate there. I hate that. <laughs> that noise. Yes. So this whole candle inside. Yeah, would come away. out. Yeah, it's and put away. a bubble light in it. How easy would that be to ship? And it wouldn't be very expensive. No, but I don't know if it would be too tall for for one. Have to get the I don't base, either. We should have the measured them. Base and then the bulb would mm -hmm. be too tall. I don't know. Well, is, is it worth a try? 20, 20% off 250? Yeah, I think it's worth a try. It's 50 cents. Yeah, it's fine. It's two bucks. It's two bucks, let's give it a try. And then I think, oh, here's your, I think these are more of those cloth teak things. This one's come off, you know? But these, they're kind of expensive, so I don't know that I would do anything to these. This one is 1450. He's heavy as lead, I don't think I'm gonna get him. He's just too heavy. But this one, and it's chipped up. So we're not going to take him either. So that just answered my own little question there, I think. Oh, he, he could hold a bubble light. <laughs> he should have a fishing pole or something. Yeah, like probably. Probably. But yeah. So, but, and I like this. I want to look it up because I want to see if it's vintage. It's from Hallmark. And it actually has actual recipes in it that haven't even been opened. So it's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it has one. I don't know if it has more than one. No, that's a whole They're all real recipes. And that's a whole thing. I know, of index cards, but I don't know if they all had recipes written on them. Or just that first one. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. But don't know anyway, I'll have to look it up. Hallmark has been making stuff for a long time, so it might be vintage. Doesn't have a date on it? No, I didn't see a date on it. Yeah. 2 AD I'm pretty easy to look up, and it's, Maybe it's that's only $2. It's, it's from the year 2 AD. Yeah, it's really vintage. <laughs> you're, so, you're quite the card, aren't you? <laughs> no, that card's going Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Look at this wall pocket. Oh, shoot, it's plastic, y'all. Oh, my gosh, it's plastic. I thought for sure. What does it say? I thought it was real milk glass. That's funny. That is just too funny. Now I'm going to pick up a piece of glass and expect it to be lightweight thinking it's plastic. Okay. Oh, what have we got here? 
Oh, cake decorating. I have not gotten into that. That's kind of cute. I'm looking at this. And you know that's probably something, but it's it's bigger than something I want to ship for sure. So not much sense in looking at it, really. We're in kind of office supplies, but the other side is not. So we'll we'll spin over there. I'll try not to spin you, but you get my point. All right, let's turn around without spinning you. Uh, look at that Dorothy Thorpe whipping mid-century. Oh, Lord. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Oh, my God, y'all. Look at that thing. Oh, man. They want 30 for it. You can't even imagine. This is the second these I've seen, and this one's even better. Oh, goodness. That's yeah, very mid century. <gasps> What else we got? Well, we found a few things. Nothing you know, crazy. But we did find a couple of things for Tim to make his Christmas ornaments out of. So not ornaments, but decorations. So that's kind of that's kind of cool. Yeah, a few things. Hey everybody. Okay. That was a good wheel. We haven't tuned in a long time, we told you. And we took pretty good there. Um only spent twenty dollars, but we found probably a hundred dollars worth of stuff. So hey, there's that. Um, yeah. And a couple of things that that Tim might be able to turn into some fun Santa or Christmas decorations. Yeah. yeah.